Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Phil Wong. Now, today's let's talk about learning about net present value. In just a few minutes, let's talk about why first. Now, why do we need to determine net present value? Because sometimes we have a decision of whether to take on a project or simply a decision making that is worth taking. So let's talk about net present value. It's simply this. Calculate the net present value by comparing two things. Initial cost of a project to a total value of a future revenue. Let's say Jane here of Jane Super Cupcakes is trying to decide whether she should buy a new high-tech oven to speed up cooking. Now Jane sees her cupcakes selling at $4 and profits $2 from each cupcake. Now this allows her to make 2,000 more cupcakes each year. With the high-tech oven though, it costs $30,000, ouch. So Jane does the math. Oven costs $30,000, revenue is $2 from profit times 2,000 equals 4,000 total. Now 4,000 times 10 years equals $40,000 of revenue. So we need to examine $40,000 minus a discount rate. In other words, what would we have done with the money? Uh, let's say of $30,000 by buying a bond with interest rate. Now, this is just the basic concept. Make sure you consult your financial advisor for more details. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to learn more about finance basics. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe, like, and